Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. So this is going to be for your July 2018 um, general reading, general reading, but um, yeah, we'll see what's coming out on the cards. So this is going to be for Sagittarius, July 2018. So this time around, I'll lay the cards differently. I will take three cards uh, that will be for your energy and then the other three cards will be for um, the other people, the other people or the other person's energy. So three for you, three for the other people. Uh, okay. okay, so this time round, um, I'm just, I'm going to pull the cards differently. We'll, we'll do a jumper, the jumper kind of shuffle. So let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius. The first three cards for Sagittarius, uh, the energy for July 2018. Three cards for Sagittarius energy. And then followed by uh, three cards, three other cards for the people that Sagittarius is dealing with. So let's see what do we have for Sagittarius. So for Sagittarius, if you're rising, uh, if you are rising Sagittarius, I think this card's want, this card wants to come out. Oh, okay. Oh wow. This is love. All right. This is definitely for love. So if you are interested in like in any love situation, feel free and yeah, do continue to catch this reading for yourself. So anyway, I was saying that uh, Sagittarius, Cancer, the full the, the the new moon eclipse in Cancer, Sagittarius. It's gonna be in your wait, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. It is in your eighth house. Eighth house is um a house of mystery, a house of uh, astrology, sometimes also sex um, or other people's finances. So you might see yourself hovering around uh, issues or topics that's uh, that's related or relevant to such to some of this that I've mentioned. Okay, so anyway, coming to your first card, the first card we have over here it is Prince of Cups. So I'm seeing a lot of new love. Prince of Cups is it. It is new love, like new love uh, in the recent, just recent past. It is not something that you've been pursuing for the longest time, like for really long. Um, okay, I'm just, I, I close up the card. I'm not looking at it yet. So it is something like a recent, recent new people that you recently got to know, that you recently get yourself connected with. Okay, so because Prince is Prince is like a page, it is a young energy. So when you're talking about young people, young energy, the love couldn't be that old and vintage. Not like a vintage love. It's not some. It's not someone whom like you know you've been dealing with, uh, your ex, your your ex, your ex spouse, your ex boyfriend, girlfriend, your no. It is new people. Someone new, um, someone new that you just newly got to know. So, or if, if it's not, if it's not love, it might just be new interest. You just found yourself a new interest, a new hobby, a new hangout place, like a place to hang out, and you probably be there very often, very very often. Okay. Oh. So this is Prince of Cups. This is the first card. This is your energy. You found yourself something new, a new interest, interest of any kind, interest of people, interest of things, events, object, uh, something new and it is pretty recent, pretty recent. We are talking about probably the last one month or so. Okay, so I've got three cards over here put out. So the next shuffle, I'm going to continue on shuffling. That will be the three other cards for the people that you are dealing with, the energy that's coming towards you. So the next three cards is going to be for Sagittarius, other uh, opponent, people whom they are dealing with. So let's come back to your own reading over here, Nine of Cups. So we have Prince of Cups. It is actually a suit of cups. And then the second card, it is actually Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is really a lot about being contented, fulfilled, fulfillment, being satisfied, satis a lot of like high satisfaction, um, high level of satisfaction. So Sagittarius, mm, let me see. Well, the thing is over here is that Sagittarius, I see that you... 
you have a lot of activities going on. You have a lot of activities going on, and um, it's like it's keeping you interested. It, it it is keeping you interested. But if I do, I really see you. Do I really see you like being satisfied, contented with the place where you are at right now, with the situation that you are at right now? I don't really think so. I don't really think so. Um, I mean, pardon me for my frankness, but Sagittarius, but you know, you have a lot of things going on. It's keeping you occupied and it's actually making you feeling contented. That is how I'm looking at it. Because Sagittarius, um, like, you know, you are... <laughs> To me, people of Sagittarius in them, element, the, not this, not element, the sign like who are heavy on Sagittarius, they are like people with thorns on the butt. They are people just with thorns on the butt. They just couldn't sit still, they just couldn't sit for a minute. So Sagittarius, to you what is fulfilling is, it is actually a life, a very fulfilling life, like very fulfilling, very occupied, routine no, not routine, but very occupied. Occupied with a lot of activities, events going on. Probably could be interviews, meeting up with people, hanging out with friends, catching up with family members, colleagues, mates from anywhere in the world. Connecting with people online, internet. Um, like, you know, it, it just keeps you so busy and you just feel fulfilled, satisfied. So that is the Nine of Cups. In this month of July, a lot of activities going on for you. And that's how the Nine of Cups is explaining. But otherwise, I think, uh, you know, like for people like yourself, Sagittarius, with with you being having thorns on your butt, like, if you ask me honestly, there is no one fulfilling and satisfactory or satisfied satisfaction love. No. You, because you just couldn't settle with one. I'm not saying that you are um, you are flighty. No, it's not that. But it's just that you, you know, you constantly, you need a constant, um, constant, constant stimulation for you in your life. Okay? So, uh, your opposition sign is Gemini. So, if you could relate to like Gemini's energy, like they need to be constantly on the move constantly on the move all right so the last card we have aha uh -huh, i told you you are occupied you are really occupied i've got two of pentacles over here for the last card this is also your energy so nine of uh sorry so prince of cups for the first nine of cups for the second and then two of pentacles for the last so two of pentacles is really a lot about juggling i told you you are occupied this month a lot hell a lot of things going on in your mind or your heart it's like it's something that you really mind a lot it's something that you really um like you you treat it with a lot of seriousness sagittarius like you take it very hard like and those are important matters whatever that's occupying you in this in this month it they are important matters and this is two of pentacles pentacles is actually about um like uh offers offers money money offers concrete offers proposals uh something that's more concrete and material material stuff material stuff it's not like intangibles it's not something where you could talk about it but you can't really you can't really see it officially but no they are tangibles we're talking really a lot about proposals agreements um finances like bank checks uh bank book bank account dollar notes really a lot about concrete like tangibles the check the tangibles over here so in this month um i see you very very occupied sagittarius very super occupied with you know being on the go on the go a lot really on the go out and about um, looking for new love looking for new interest now that we have got the two of pentacles the prince of cups to me looks a lot like you are looking for new opportunities as well they could be new opportunities okay so this is your energy for july let's see what are what is the other energy for the other people in your life who are coming towards you or you know people are bringing towards you oh so this is nine of wands for the first card i've got nine of wands this is the energy of the people that you are dealing with 
So I'm going to pull two more cards, two more cards for the people that Sagittarius is dealing with for the month of July. Okay, so for the first card, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is really a lot about defensiveness, a lot about guarding, a lot about, you know, uh, suspicious, being suspicious about about you, towards you, they they be they be in doubts, they, they have doubts about you, like they will be looking at you like, hmm, let's see, you know, they have, they want to check, they want to have a check on you, like your background check, they are, you know, <laughs> sorry, the, in case you find it abrupt, uh, there was a call coming in, so, um, so this nine of, nine of wands is really a lot about, uh, defensive guarding and i and i was i was actually saying that it might be to some extent people are checking on you uh if you are dealing with love situation you might be dealing with a stalker you might be dealing with a stalker because people are guarding they are they are the sus the, the the suspicious the suspicion about you is growing uh if that is a love relationship but if it's not if it's just a daily like it's just like a routine check probably a background check if you are uh uh, you know applying for job employment so it might just be routine and background checks for you okay so you might have to submit a lot of documents you might have to submit uh, a lot of information about yourself all right so the next card we have is the queen of pentacles all right so for any of you Sagittarius who are looking at getting like huge offers um it's you're gonna face a little bit of challenges uh not saying that it's not coming true i'm not saying that it's not coming true but it's just maybe like you have you have to justify you have to justify for what you're asking uh in any in any terms you, you like in any terms it might be job it might not be job it might be you know whatever if you're asking for borrowings i do not know what other events but for the for for this amount for this amount the for this value that you are asking for like value could be for anything anything for this value that you're asking for you i mean some of you might be you know purchasing a car or you know trading selling buying and then there is a lot of negotiation going on like a lot hell a lot of negotiation going on for you because we have got a queen of pentacles over here the queen being a feminine energy is someone who is sensitive. You know how women are just super sensitive about things over here. So queen of pentacles, when it comes to talk about, you know, like finances, pentacles, you're dealing with a, a feminine energy over here who's so, who is so calculative, sensitive and be like, you know, why are you asking so much? She, she is like a finance, like, you know, the the finance uh, the finance person in the, in the house, usually it is always like the wife, the woman taking care and taking charge of the finances. Like if you want, if you want to withdraw any money, you got to go through her. She, 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 you need her approval for you. So this is like the energy that you are dealing with. I'm not, it might not necessarily be a woman, but you are dealing with someone who's very sensitive about money, who's very calculative and be like, you need to justify. Yeah, you have to justify for what you're asking for. Uh, for what you're proposing over here so this is the energy of the other person the people that you are dealing with like a lot of I mean having to deal with people like that it is really a lot of justification that you have to do okay so I'm waiting for the last card for the people for the people or the person that Sagittarius might be dealing with uh oh here here we go so this is the last card of the mystery what do we have this is the three of wands. It's waiting, waiting, a lot of waiting. I mean, come on, like you have done. You will be doing what you need to do. Like you have, you will, you you will already justify. You will already justify for yourself. Um, like you know, the reason why I'm asking this amount, I'm I'm value valuating, uh, this this whatever like like a valuation. You know, like how evaluation like the reason why i evaluate i uh certain like myself at this amount if you are like you know asking for a job uh um um like you know your expectation of the salary or remuneration so 
So three of one. So after going through all this justification, you you find yourself this month waiting a lot of um waiting a lot of um like uh like pending you're pending the outcome pending the outcome of certain uh certain event or pending a decision to be made like you know waiting for people to come back to you waiting for people to come back to you with with a conclusion um some of you could be a law like could be a court case court case you know being defend having to be defensive or have like defensiveness over here it is in a picture so sometimes if it's if you're dealing with a court case uh this this that i mean if you if if it's defensiveness like a court case or legal case might be relevant to this and then it's like really t a lot about money it might be compensation some sort of compensation where you know you have to justify why are you seeking this amount of compensation uh it could be you know could be child custody and um uh what what do you call that like any money any money for for yourself and the fa family for the children for the kids and then you'll be waiting waiting for an outcome so i'm seeing that probably this month the for the most part of this month we are really looking and seeing a lot of waiting you you it might it might not be this month like you might not if you're waiting for an answer a conclusion an offer to come back to you a decision to be made it might not it, it doesn't seem to be like you know it's happening in this month because the end end of it the last card which might we which might just be the last decade of the month which is the 21st to 31st of july okay 31st of july yeah it is really a lot about waiting even towards the end of the month so sagittarius this is for you i was actually trying to shuffle and then i want to get the overall uh general energy for you for you and all the pre all the people and the person that you might be dealing with Okay, so one last shuffle and I will cut the cards that's going to be for your general energy. So this, this energy, the bottom of the deck is going to be by me. Okay. So, how uncanny is that? We have got the hangman. Okay, even though it is in reverse, but if you realize in this reading, I have never mentioned anything about reverse or not. And this is the hangman. So this is the hangman. There is I, I'm not reading reverse in this reading. If you cross watch to any of the other signs, I mentioned that there is no reverse reading in this in this time round. So this is the hangman. A lot about waiting. Okay, really, this is really a lot about waiting. To the other people, to 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 the people, to the person whom you might be dealing with, they're waiting for you for some kind of submission. They're waiting for you to provide them with information, or if it's then you, it might be you waiting for them to come to a, come to a conclusion, to come to a um, a decision making time. Okay, so this is the hangman. All right, Sagittarius, this is for you. I hope it helps you in a certain way, in any small little way. I hope to do a lot more of these videos in the coming days of the rest of July. Um, till then, if you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. This time around, I'm doing a very, very special offer. Uh, it's just $10 per email and in the email, it could be unlimited question. Inclusive of your natal chart screening, natal birth chart screening. So pre remember to give me your date of birth, your birth time, your birth date. So I'll do a screening on the transits and also what's happening in your birth chart as according to the question that you might be asking me. So let's see, you know, how, how can it be related to, to the issues that you might be dealing with at this point in time. So Sagittarius, this is all I have for you. Um, I will see you very soon in wherever the next video or if it's a personal reading. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.